Hello friends, uh, welcome to CS Study Bytes. So uh, in this video, I will show you how to install Kafka on Windows. Okay, so first step is uh, let's search uh, download Kafka on Windows. And here, go to this website, download Kafka, click on this. Okay, okay, so here you will uh, see a uh, uh, supported release 4.1.0. Uh, 4.0.0. Okay, let's download this one. A uh, 3.9.1. So it was released in May 21, uh, 2025. Okay, so here we have Scala 2.12 and Scala 2.13. Let's download this Scala 2.13. Okay, and it will get downloaded. Okay, so uh, here I have already downloaded this Kafka 2.1. Uh, one three. Okay. Uh, the first step is let's extract this. Okay. I'm extracting it here. Okay. So I have completed extraction. Uh, okay. Now let's go inside. Okay. So here is this inside uh, Kafka 2.13. Okay. Let's copy this. Copy this and uh, go to uh, our C drive, go to C drive and paste it here. So I am pasting it here in my C drive. Okay. Okay. After pasting, uh, let's uh, change, rename this to Kafka only. Okay. We do not want to keep this long name. Okay. Let's rename it to Kafka. Okay. Done. Okay. So here. Uh, first step is done. Download Apache Kafka. Second, extract Kafka archive. Third is let's configure environmental variables. So we need to add uh, Kafka home. Okay. Uh, let's go to environmental. Search here for environmental. Edit the system environmental variables. Okay. Then go to environmental variables. And here we need to add. Uh, this one okay so we need to add variable name as kafka underscore home and variable value c kafka because in c i have kept this folder kafka so the, uh, i am giving it uh, it is a uh, value as c kafka okay then then uh, let's go to path so here is the path we need to add this uh, env uh, environmental variable to our path and here is my path Okay, so here I have already added this a uh, percentage Kafka underscore home percentage slash bin. Okay, so just like this, we need to add this to our path and then press OK. Okay, and OK. Okay, so next step is uh, okay, so we have uh, configured environmental variables. Then a uh, step uh, third is added configuration file. Okay, so we need to go to Zookeeper. And then uh, there uh, you will find this data directory equal to uh, slash temp slash zookeeper. We need to change this to uh, this one, okay? Because uh, in I have kept my uh, Kafka folder in my C drive, so that's why I will change this to this data directory, okay? Let's go to our C drive. Let's go to uh, here is Kafka. And then go to configuration. So here is the configuration. And in con configuration, uh, here you will find Zookeeper. Okay. Right click and open with. You can open with Notepad plus plus or Notepad. It's uh, your choice. So I am opening it with Notepad. And here, uh, see here, data directory equal to temp slash Zookeeper. So I need to edit this Control V. Uh, here I have changed this data directory equal to C Kafka Zookeeper and Control S save this. Okay. Then uh, another step is okay. So we need to go to server dot properties. Okay. Uh, and we need to change this uh, uh, from temp uh, slash Kafka logs to C uh, slash Kafka slash Kafka logs. Okay. I am copying this Control C. And go to here, you will find this uh, server. Here is server. Right click and then open with notepad. Okay. 
and here you will find this where is this okay here a uh, log start directory okay let me change this to control b to c slash c slash kafka slash kafka logs and let's close this after saving this okay so hello friends uh, welcome to cs study bytes so uh, in this video i will show you how to install kafka on windows okay so first step is uh, let's search uh, download kafka on windows and here go to this website download kafka click on this okay okay so here you will uh, see a uh, uh, supported release 4.1.0 uh, 4.0.0 okay let's download this one a uh, 3.9.1 so it was released in may 21 uh, 2025 okay so here we have scala 2.12 and scala 2.13 let's download this scala 2.13 okay and it will get downloaded okay so uh, here i have already downloaded this kafka 2.1 uh, one three okay uh, the first step is let's extract this okay i'm extracting it here okay so i have completed extraction uh, okay now let's go inside okay so here is this inside uh, kafka 2.13 okay let's copy this copy this and uh, go to uh, our c drive go to c drive and paste it here so i am pasting it here in my c drive okay okay after pasting uh, let's uh, change rename this to kafka only okay we do not want to keep this long name okay let's rename it to kafka okay then okay so here uh, first step is done download apache kafka second extract kafka archive third is let's configure environmental variables so we need to add uh, kafka home okay uh, let's go to environmental search here for environmental edit the system environmental variables okay then go to environmental variables and here we need to add uh, this one okay so we need to add variable name as kafka underscore home and variable value c kafka because in c i have kept this folder kafka so the, uh, i am giving it uh, it is a uh, value as c kafka okay then then uh, let's go to path so here is the path we need to add this uh, env uh, environmental variable to our path and here is my path okay so here i have already added this a uh, percentage kafka underscore home percentage slash bin okay so just like this we need to add this to our path and then press okay okay and okay okay so next step is uh okay so we have uh, configured environmental variables then a uh, step uh third is added configuration file okay so we need to go to zookeeper and then uh, there uh, you will find this data directory equal to uh, slash temp slash zookeeper we need to change this to uh, this one okay because uh, in i have kept my uh, kafka folder in my c drive so that's why i will change this to this data directory okay let's go to our c drive let's go to uh, here is kafka and then go to configuration so here is the configuration and in con configuration uh, here you will find zookeeper okay right click and open with you can open with notepad plus plus or notepad it's uh, your choice so i am opening it with notepad and here i uh, see here data directory equal to temp slash zookeeper so i need to edit this control v uh, here I have changed this data directory equal to C Kafka Zookeeper and Control S save this. Okay. Then uh, another step is okay. So we need to go to server dot properties. Okay. 
uh, and we need to change this uh, uh, from temp uh, slash Kafka logs to C uh, slash Kafka slash Kafka logs. Okay, I am copying this control C and go to here. You will find this uh, server here. The server right click and then open with notepad. Okay, and here you will find this. Where is this? Okay, here a uh, log start directory. Okay, let me change this to control B to C slash C slash Kafka slash Kafka logs and let's close this. Okay, uh, so next step is uh, we need to start Zookeeper. Okay, so uh, yes, step four, let's start Zookeeper. I am copying this. Uh, I you don't need to worry about this. So I will pro, I will provide this file in. Uh, uh, I will upload this file also, and in the uh, description of video, I will paste it. Okay, so that you can just copy it and run it. Okay, so uh, let's start Zookeeper. In order to start the Zookeeper, uh, let me open command prompt cmd and run as administrator. Okay, uh, now let's go to Kafka, CD to Kafka, CD to Kafka, C and Kafka, K A F K A, and paste it here. Okay, and press enter. Okay, so this will start Zookeeper. So here you can see Zookeeper started. Now we do not need to close this, uh, we just ha have to minimize this. Okay, I'm minimizing this. Okay, so my zookeeper uh, is started. Next is I, I need to start Kafka broker. Uh, so I am copying this, Control C, and again uh, go to CMD and run as administrator. Yes, and go to Kafka again. C, CD to Kafka, Kafka. Okay, and paste it here. So this will start server. A broker okay done next is uh, again open cmd open cmd and run as administrator now uh, we need to check whether kafka has started or not so just type jps and press enter and see here uh, here you can see the daemon of kafka uh, here you can see two, 2052 co Quorum Peer Man and JPS. So our uh, uh, Kafka has just started. Okay. So this was all about the video. Uh, if you are first uh, first time here, so please subscribe.